Registered Phenomena Code 087 Object Class Gamma Red Hazard Types Currently Not Available Containment Protocols Primary Containment A Modified Unit with Advanced Life Support Capabilities ALS. Secondary Containment Negative Pressure Unit with EMF Generator and CBRN Capabilities Level 2 medical teams consisting of doctors, anesthesiologists, nurses, cardiologists, neurologists, respiratory and laboratory specialists. Level 3 Patient Procurement Specialist PPS. Level 0 Patient in an Induced Sleep State with ALS Attached RPC-087 OL Site-118 must be allowed to consume from Level 0 personnel while in containment at all times. On-site medical personnel is never allowed to enter the intercontainment unit alone and without ASF personnel present. Level 4 MOP CBRN, must be worn by authority personnel at all times when inside intercontainment unit. Should a MOP breach occur, authority decontamination protocol must be initiated. The medical team leader must inform containment specialists if Level 0 personnel is approaching death. The PPS must initiate procurement procedure immediately upon notification. Description: RPC-087 OL Site-118 is a shadow-like humanoid with no discernible features. Appearance resembles black vaporous gas. At this time, it is unknown if RPC-087 is sentient or organic, and its origin is unknown. Attempts to measure mass of RPC-087 at this time have met negative results. Its vertical height varies at all times. RPC-087 absorbs, consumes alpha, theta, and delta brainwaves dreams, from sleeping and or unconscious victims. Ongoing research is in progress to understand mechanics of how RPC-087 absorbs, consumes gross brainwave activity. The current study indicates that brain mass is lost during these events. Brain death is the result of sustained exposure to absorbed consume events. Temporary exposure to absorbed consume events results in CSDS to remain in either a vegetative or minimally conscious state. RPC-087 also exhibits physiological changes during absorbed consume events and appears to become more solid and vaporous. When not in absorbed consumed condition, RPC-087 can envelop victims and kill in approximately seconds. RPC-087 was first encountered on October 30, 1988, during the body retrieval of Mr. from Happy Home Hospice Care, located in the city of El Cajon, California. Local law enforcement was called to investigate the sudden death of was working for East County Mortuary picking up the deceased Mr. Preliminary autopsy reports on the deceased ECPD and MST have produced inconclusive results. The bodies did not exhibit signs of trauma at the time of death. Authority personnel embedded in contacted containment units to incident site. Authority MST responded and assumed control of the incident. RPC-087 was found in a highly agitated state killing a member of MST Alpha-5 before full containment was achieved. Addendum 087-1 Attachments Purge Police Report El Cajon Police Department 100 Civic Center Way El Cajon, California 92020 RA No. 88-452798 Beat No. 7119 on October 30, 1988, at approximately 19.34 hours, I, A, badge number, Police Officer 2 for El Cajon Police Department, responded to Happy Home Hospice Care, located at 5610 Dehesa Road, El Cajon, California, 92019. Upon arrival to location, I observed two El Cajon PD units, number 218 and number 710. Unoccupied with Code 3 lights activated. Unit number 710 still has sirens activated. I then called out 1033, emergency traffic only radio code, 
and requested for additional units to my location. I then observed a male subject in hospital scrubs, now known to be CDL No. 8 Address Vista, California 92081 I initiated felony pedestrian stop and at gunpoint commanded to stop and get down on his stomach. Complied with my verbal commands as I approached Officer Badge number from La Mesa Police Department approached with weapon drawn and covered me while handcuffed. Officer and I moved to a covered position behind my vehicle and conducted physical search of was hysterical and screaming, he's killing him, stop him please. Officer made several attempts to calm down to ascertain suspect information but was unsuccessful. Additional units began to arrive from multiple agencies and set up perimeter of location. Incident Commander Badge Number arrived on scene and activated the command center and initiated mutual aid. Officers Badge Number Badge Number and I made entry from southeast door located along Desha Road. Was immediately hit by suspect and dragged into room number and we heard a struggle ensue. And I immediately approached the door with intent to engage suspect with deadly force. At this time, we observed officer on the floor, on his back and speaking incoherently. We called for extrication team and EMS to respond to Southeast entrance. Officer and I swept the room and did not locate suspect. We both observed dark gaseous type vapor towards back of the room but did not make any further attempts to investigate. I radioed incident commander to report possible hazmat in area and that source of gas was possibly venting from cylinders present in room. Incident Commander directed officers to stop forward progress and establish perimeters at current positions. At approximately 18-13 hours, armed personnel identified a San Diego County Sheriff's Department wearing hazmat suits made entry from southeast entrance. At 20-22 hours, suspect was reported in custody and Code 4 was announced. Local units were instructed to go 10-7, back in service, and 10-34, resume normal radio traffic was announced. San Diego County Sheriff's Department assumed perimeter security and initiated lockdown of Happy Home Hospice Care NFD. Officer A Badge Number Signed Date October 31, 1988 Time 0030 hours MST Containment Report MST Containment Event Report RPC-087 OL Site-118 Date October 30, 1988. Time 1813 hours. CC units MST Alpha 5, Delta 3. MST OB Quetzal. Target location Happy Home Hospice Care, 5610 De Hesse Road, El Cajon, California 92019. Country Code US RPC Number 087. Location Target Coordinate 11SNS15752861 TM Ref Series 1501 Joint Operations Graphic Radar JOG R Collection Date Time October 30, 1988, 1800 Hours Type Geospatial Intel Satellite Overwatch ASAT 001D Quality Image Quality Good Angle 17.4 degrees Time over target, 180 seconds. Delivery system 10 two-man units, 1987 Crown Victoria, marked San Diego County Sheriff. Weapons 12 2 4 MP5 SD 9mm 2 Containment weapon Aim point name Capture and contain CC Narrative on October 30, 88, at 1813 hours, MST Alpha 5 A5 Delta 3 D3 responded to target location and initiated capture and contain mission. D3 and Level 4 MOP 
in her target building with A-5 as fire support. RPC-087 was cornered in room number 66. D-3 entered and immediately came under strong attack. A-5 deployed containment weapon and was unsuccessful. D-3 deployed containment weapon and made partial containment. A-5 pushed further in the target area and came under attack. Partial containment failed and A-5 sustained KIA. Containment weapon specialist was shrouded by RPC-087 for approximately 10 seconds and fell to the ground. D-3 was able to re-establish partial containment but suffered KIA. Specialist was fatally struck by friendly fire from A-5. A-5 specialist redeployed containment weapon dropped by CWS. D-3 deployed EMF containment unit and full containment was achieved in approximately 20-22 hours. A-5 continued security sweep and established full control of target location. D-3 escorted RPC-087 to MST Aviation Support Base Pinal for extraction to Containment Site-118. KIA 2 El Cajon PD 2 MST Specialist Collateral Damage 4 Hospice Patients 3 Hospice Care Personnel Authentication valid.